they, they, they used to listen to me and they thought he's going to be difficult to handle. And of course, I wasn't. You know what I mean? It's and it was and uh, you know, I mean, as somebody said, the head of ITV said, "You're an absolute peach to work with, Scotty." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and that it. stuff because we were getting on with the job and bringing the audience to the station. Right, right. I mean, so I was I mean, just in the news year. I mean, I was I was I was watching your husband Abe bash on the on the internet, you know, and it was like that. Uh, but if I could, if I, it'd be great to come back to clock and get you back on five nights a week. That'd be amazing. Five nights a week, three hours a night of complete and utter quality chat. <laughs> and you see, I'll tell you the other thing, Alan. The people of Scotland loved it because, you know, I'm just an ordinary guy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I think that's I what's important. No, 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 the thing is, obviously, when you were doing the chat show, I mean, nothing shocked you. No, so I think some of, some of the responses you gave to people, they weren't expecting it, but you were straight to the point. Straight you know, right, and like we just it. told them straight, do not give me any of that nonsense. I mean, these days, you're, I mean, you're fine to do this. I mean, I seen an article in the paper that they're dropping the midget for midget gems in case it offends people. Well, you see, about... see this offending. I mixed this up last week, this saying, I've got to apologise for that. But what I've always said is you cannot give offence, it has to be taken. So people right. take offence. Now, what I would do is put a proper Scotty McClue show on and say, if you are going to be offended, do not watch or listen, just go away. Right, because it's been, it's been well documented in, for the last couple of years. I mean, even programmes from like the 1980s, like... Um, Love Thy Neighbour and Sickness and in Health with Alf Garnet, yep. Only Fools and Horses, certain clips that were made back then, you know, yes. they've been edited out, and you're like, ah, really? And you probably know what I'm talking about, Scotty. Of course, you know, of course. You know, c c certain clips. But it's like comedians, when comedians tell a joke, people go, oh, and you say, it's a joke. Aye, aye. You know, but they say, oh, these telephones, and even I read today, even programmes like Chewing the Fat and Still Game, some of the stuff, I don't know if you remember the Chewing the Fat clip with the two wee boys at the ice cream van. Yes, well, you see, that now would cause a stushy. Of course. You know, it would cause a stushy. <laughs> but in actual fact, as people say, it's one of the funniest things. Do you know the funniest bit of that was the, the Iron Brew bottle smashing? Aye, aye. And the wee boys still standing there the night in the, the pokey hat. They were just left with the pokey hat. <laughs> 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 and so I think... Yes, and I think that's it. And I think that we need to grow up as people. You see, who is offended? I can remember they said, by the way, the